today we are opening a gift from one of our subscribers. I have been wanting a video projector to go out by our pool. Something that, don't look at the made in China part. It's unfortunate, but anyway. Um, these projectors are under a hundred bucks now. This is the top tro, came off of Amazon. And uh, these are under a hundred bucks. I have been wanting to put one of these out by the pool so that we can watch movies on the side of the house at night while we're in the hot tub or in the pool. So it says it's for family movies, conferences, family gathering, private theater. So we're going to do an unboxing of this. This came from Amazon in one of the regular Amazon boxes, but when I received it, there's no tape or anything. There's just the fold over opening here. So all we're going to do is just pop that out and top. So see, there's no nothing taping that close. So this all this very well could be a pre-boxed item. I haven't opened this yet, but this this could be a rehabbed item. It doesn't have a manufacturer seal on it, but it's from China, so what do you expect? But anyway, don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. Our subscribers are the coolest thing in the world. Thank you so much, subscribers, for your gifts to us. And this looks like it's sealed a little bit, taped down, so we're going to turn it sideways here gonna open up like a drawer so here we go we're gonna go ahead and pull that out that way there's nothing left inside the box so we're gonna put that down uh, let's see what's in here so styrofoam all the way around the outside of this little finger spot here Grab that projector out of there. Here it comes. Pretty light, pretty small. It is called a mini projector, so we're not expecting anything huge, you know, but very light little system. And we pull the plastic bag off of it here. And it has a very like You know, just kind of thrown on their plastic protective covering on it. I'll go ahead and set that aside as well. But here is the projector. Now we got some really bad lighting going on in here. But let's go ahead and set it on the table, and that way we can show it from the top down. fingers keep getting in the way my fat hands okay so here we go speaking of my hands this is a little bit less from front to back than my pinky to thumb and just about pinky to thumb across the top right here you've got a focus knob and you got your keystone correction right here that goes back and forth. It feels very smooth. And let's go ahead and look at the, the lens here. And when you adjust the lens you can see it move forward and back. And the keystone, you can see it kind of angle inside there a little bit. The spot here for the infrared remote to receive. Here's an HDMI slot number two and a USB port. Possibly able to plug my Fire Stick in here so that I don't have to run a separate power cord for the Fire Stick. Um, speaking of power, here's the power for the projector. On the starboard side, there are no connections. And on the port side, you've got headphone adapter, AV adapter, because there are connection or connectors included that go to your let me pull it out of the let me pull it out of the box here. This little guy right here that's a TRRS connection and you've got yellow white red that you can plug into the A V slot and that way you can connect up old school RS RCA type connections. 
Um, there's your number one HDMI slot and VGA and memory card slot. So if you wanted to watch pictures you take on vacation or a video you got saved on a memory card, just throw it in there. Here's your controls. Power button with a little LED light in front of it. I'm um, not sure what M and S are going to stand for. Back button. And of course the middle select button. The buttons all feel really good. Solid. There's your power ratings. And right in the front there is the little knob to do your adjusting from to tilt the front of the unit up and down. Normally that would adjust for you to you know take the projector up and down on the front. So what I plan on doing out on the pool deck is hanging this guy from the bottom. Real quick a couple things I forgot to mention that were in the box is there's a lens cap. If you have the lens extended all the way out with the focus knob there you can actually fit the lens cap over it. So that'd be really good when this is outside. If I keep it outside overnight or something I can throw that lens cap on there to protect that. So all right and I've unwrapped the power cord right here. It is not polarized just two prong little power cord and then we have the remote for the guy. I don't know if there are batteries in here or not. I'm assuming not. And I don't see any batteries with the rest of the packaging. So, all right, hold on a second. Okay, so we've got it plugged in to regular extension cord there in the wall. And then we get the HDMI plugged right into our Xbox. So let's go ahead and first of all, fire up the Xbox. And you can see that there's a red light that's come on on the top of this guy. So let's go ahead and hit the power button on the projector. You can hear the fan come on and we've got light on the wall. There's the startup screen. You can see it's nice and bright. I mean, my room is fairly lit right now. I've got an LED light there. i got my spotlight there. Um, let's try this again if I can get it HDMI 1 select that and this should be my Xbox here <gasps> there we go we should be able to and there's the content there the Xbox the keystone effect there I'm sure this would be amplified if I was back farther so I've hooked up my fire stick to the um, projector and I've just hung up a large piece of white paper I have on the sliding glass door there. And you can see it's got a great picture. Um, I can change the picture between regular cinema mode. Yeah, I know. I've got a whole bunch. This is vibrant mode or dynamic mode, I guess. Runners are standard. You help your dogs a mighty lot if you think the dynamic looks really good though. But I'm sitting out here, got a pretty bright fire going. But it looks really good from the pool. We can sit in the pool and I've got it connected to my fire stick through this Bluetooth speaker. So good sound. Where you headed, mister? Watching Call of the Wild. Not a good sir. Two thumbs up on this projector. Under a hundred bucks. No. Little um, fairy tale. This little guy Lost puts cabin. Quite the bunch, 5,000 lumens, so check it out. I'll include the link to the Amazon purchase page below.